particularly in the Gambia, mm -hmm. from 65 to date, mm -hmm. we have seen that 80% of people who want to serve us want us mm -hmm. to be used for their personal interests, like the Wolofs will say, Segalen Mawarlen. <laughs> so it's, it's rather unfortunate. Absolutely. So the cultural revolution we need, mm -hmm. I think, is a must for us to kickstart the much needed transformation that this country needs. Absolutely. Business as usual, 1965 to Adam Abaro's government is the same. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has changed are the players that manned the positions. Mm -hmm. But the cultural orientation is still subservient, meaning the people that should be served are the ones who are serving the ones who should serve them. Absolutely. Mm. And that's what we need to change. Okay. All these people getting into politics, or pre majority of them, and the ones in power today, mm -hmm. they have bettered their lives at your expense, my expense, his expense, and even the expense of generations of Gambians yet unborn. And that's shameful and immoral. Mr. Mbalo, um, first of all, what are your perspectives about the Wato uh, TJ movement, Banki has talked about, uh, you know, how he had been able to engage people, people, you know, whom we normally feel that it's taboo to associate with them and, you know, galvanize them, getting them to be interested in the way their government is run. He talked about all the incidents he personally he witnessed that uh, motivated him to, you know, sacrifice whatever comfort he may have with all the knowledge and experience to come and join politics because he said, you know, we need those ideas, or even governments such as yours need those ideas to run the country. Um, you happen to be in a very privileged position today. I mean, very close to the president. Um, you know, you know, in the government of the day, all these people feel that uh, they have better ideas. Do you agree, um, Mr. Chairman? Thank you very much for giving me the chance, mm -hmm. and uh, I thank my fellow uh, back colleagues. Mm -hmm and uh, by Ibrahma Jain yeah. and uh, Nyangjai mm -hmm. for being part of this discussion today. Sure. I mean, this is, I mean, this is what we expect when we have a democratic mm -hmm. environment, mm -hmm. what we are doing here. And uh, I don't think anybody will object to anybody who said something here or who say you are the best man in Gambia, you are, you are the best educated man in Gambia. Mm -hmm. Nobody will object to that. Mm -hmm. but um, however, um, Gambian people are very intelligent people, despite the fact that the majority of them are not educated, but they are not fools. They know what they want, they know the people whom they can put in power and bring about peace, tranquility, and uh, development in this country. Uh, for first, I would uh, dwell on Mr. Um, Baggy. Baggy. I am very happy to, 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 to see somebody, a gentleman like him, who has come up with a new thing. And uh, this Rasta thing, he has said something here. We don't want discrimination. This government that is among the priorities that we are fighting, discrimination, tribalism, and uh, uh, nepotism. We, this government is trying to, we know it is not easy to eradicate it um, at one go, but we will try. We, will, we, will, we are trying to encourage freedom of speech, freedom of the media, freedom of movement, and the freedom of association. That's, that's our priority. And now what is happening in the country is a clear manifestation that the Gambians are free. Today, even somebody who is in the Dhaka, what we call the Dhaka, can come out and say, I'm forming my party. Nobody will stop him. Nobody will condemn him. What he is doing, we definitely I encourage it. He is doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Nobody is better than the old. old. Exactly. Whether you are in New York, mm -hmm. whether you are in uh, Tamba Sansa, mm -hmm. whether you are in Sare Samba, mm -hmm. we are all human beings and we are all equal. Where, whether you, you go there in the beach, mm -hmm. sorry, at the beach, mm -hmm. and the play, do what you want to do, or you are there in your mansion, mm -hmm. you are all human beings, actually. Mm -hmm. So what he is doing to make sure that he encourages the youth mm -hmm. to come out, and so what they feel that they, they can also they have a part to contribute in our democratization mm -hmm. process in this country. Mm -hmm. I would definitely we definitely welcome it. What do, you, doing the right what do you make of his suggestion that uh, people who are Rasta should not be treated by the government or law enforcement as people who are just 
criminals in nature. I'm, and 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 young Butres. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to that. Yeah. I'm coming to that. Mm -hmm. I don't think where that um, there is any single incident whereby somebody this in this during this present government mm -hmm. people have been arrested because they have racism. No, well, if there is any, uh -huh. let him tell me that. For his, for his ex went on and arrested somebody mm -hmm. because he has Rasta, Rasta yeah. on his By and like that, I like to interject, then you continue. No, uh, no I will come to you. I'll come to you. Yes. Mm, you, you mean he, nobody, nobody I, is going to be just to be just by wearing a Rasta hair get arrested for that. Been arrested. Mm -hmm. I think those who are whom the police are going after mm -hmm. are the people that they should go after. Mm -hmm. That is the people who are suspected of involved in, involving themselves in drug dealings, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. people who have been suspected of mm -hmm. committing crimes. crimes, and that is worldwide. Yeah. That is in our books. Mm -hmm. That is in our, not only here worldwide. That is the responsibility of police enforcement mm -hmm. to make sure that even if you are a minister or a millionaire, mm -hmm. if they suspect you, mm -hmm. they have the right to stop you and question you, mm -hmm. and then. If you are found innocent, mm -hmm. then they let you go. But if you are found I, guilty, I said, for that I cannot be. Nobody should blame. I, th I don't think whether the police should be blamed in doing their job. As advisor, would you advise the president? Uh, to, uh, you know, to some of the suggestions he said about some of the suggestions he said that uh, okay, perhaps and but rest by young guy. Perhaps what we should do is to work on uh, legalizing marijuana not just for Banki Agi, for medical, medicinal purposes, and Nyang said for economic purposes, uh, stuff like that. Do you think, uh, in, well, your, in well, your view, that is a good idea? Well, that is, that is, sub, um, that is subjected to analysis mm -hmm. and the re research. Mm -hmm. Not only in Gambia, even in the United States. Mm -hmm. Until today, mm -hmm. marijuana, is, marijuana mm -hmm. is, is not allowed in certain states. Mm -hmm. Start, they have started legalizing it in certain states, mm -hmm. but not in, in the whole of United States. Mm -hmm. So if country, advanced countries like United States mm -hmm. are still now, they, are, they still now ban marijuana, mm -hmm. how about third world countries? Mm -hmm. Gambia is not an exception. We cannot just get up one day and say we are legalizing marijuana. Mm -hmm. it, it is bound to be, you know, to, to, to be discussed. Mm -hmm. What we are doing here, people come up with their idea, the youth come up and tell, come up, and also the patients and doctors mm -hmm. would come and tell us, Patient X mm -hmm. had this problem, mm -hmm. and then I was only able to control his pain or so and so because of marijuana that I injected in that patient. Mm -hmm. Then people will say, hey, that what happened in the United States. Mm -hmm. Why not we consider allowing marijuana to be used even, you know, in a certain quantity, mm -hmm. even where uh, it's not going to be a large quantity, it should be controlled. There should be certain pharmaceutical stores that should be allowed to be dealing with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is how it goes. You mm -hmm. cannot just allow and say, a nation, you say, we are legalizing things. Oh, that would be trouble. Yes. That would trouble. People mm -hmm. will abuse it. Yes. It will be abuse. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that we should not put it into consideration. Mm -hmm. But, I'm, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is the government will do the right thing as other governments are doing to make sure that they listen to researchers, mm -hmm. medical researchers, okay. they will scientists, mm -hmm. doctors who are dealing with this thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, specifically. Yeah. So that's that's my answer on that. Basically, what about the APP, um, the All People's Congress? They, they, he, the doctor cited incidences, personal experiences, and discussions with prominent Gambians who felt that you know we have to go. Some of us who are blessed to have some degree of knowledge in one field or the other, we should not shy away from politics because otherwise we will have people running the country. And according to him, that is what is happening now with your government. People running the government who doesn't have an idea of uh, what it takes to run a government. I'm sure you will not agree with that. Um, I disagree with, uh, with, uh, with Doctor. Although I welcome his participation mm -hmm. in in the political pro uh, in our political process, mm -hmm. um, I think it's a good thing uh, for him to have to head the MPP, uh, APP party. Mm -hmm. I think that is very good because government alone. Let me tell you, government alone cannot do it. And not only that, government need to be monitored. Mm -hmm. Opposition is very important. Whoever tells you we hate opposition, he doesn't know what democracy is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes government do those certain things, they correct it because of the criticism that they receive from opposition. They would and go, he is very generous with they, his ideas. They go up to a certain level and the opposition criticizes it. They said they would tell them, listen, mm -hmm. we should have done it this way. Mm -hmm. Instead of this way, we should have received, we will receive positive results. And the government will stop. Do, can you... you can
can you recall how many times the government made certain moves because of Christian we, 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 we backtracked mm -hmm. like the like the Tobaski. <laughs> we gave one one more. <laughs> uh, sorry, one day. Yeah. It's because of Christian that people drew our attention. Then you have to do it. Too. If there was no opposition, if it was a dictator here, dictatorship, who will talk? Never. <laughs> In the past, who will talk? Never. The president president declared tomorrow is the prayer. Whether you like it or not, you will go and pray. So you know, thank God to this the type of democracy that we are trying to nurture. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. this is the foundation. Mm -hmm. President Adam Abaro is building this foundation, and he alone cannot build it. He okay. said it. Okay. It, it takes MP, APP, mm -hmm. PTP, oh, oh. Mr. Bakoli party, mm -hmm. other parties, mm -hmm. they bring in I mean, the people whom he feels they are left out, mm -hmm. what their ideas or what they want to be done. Mm -hmm. we, we include them, and we move our nation, we have a better nation. It, it would be fair to pass on to another topic without talk to you talking about your party because both of them talk about their parties. <laughs> okay, good, yeah, <laughs> what is the latest with the NPP, particularly your supposed negotiations with the APRC? I mean, many people think that uh, it's only out of desperate, uh, perhaps, you know, desperation that you are embracing APRC. Um, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, and you cannot even deliver some of the conditions they lay for your discussions. But then, of course, it must be said nothing has been agreed yet. Uh, or, or how, pro how far have you progressed with that? Well, with the APRC, I mean, like any political party here, Mr. Cham, mm -hmm. um, um, the NPP is open to all political parties. Mm. Even the UDP? Even UDP, if they want, they can come. Mm -hmm. I would say here, mm -hmm. if they want to join and support the agenda of His Excellency President Adam Obaro and the NPP, mm -hmm. honestly, they are welcome. Let them join, join us. We move the country forward. Okay. There's no problem. Yeah. So for a APRC also, mm -hmm. just AP, uh, for APRC, mm -hmm. they are a registered political party here and they are citizens. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Chan, we have to make that very clear, very, quite, quite clear. Mm -hmm. I have heard so many criticism about APRC. Some of them are joining this thing. They are you thinking. yourself was very harsh critic of the I was, regime. I was very so what, harsh. What has I changed? was very harsh. What has with, changed? Let me tell you. Okay, that's good. Hmm. I was very harsh. For 20 years, I have been fighting. Yes. Not fighting the APRC oh, per yeah, se. Yeah. Yeah, the but, civilian. Yeah, the, the, the woman who is in Bani Lai. The woman who is in Sibano. No, the woman who is no. in Brikam. Yeah, but the leadership. Supporting the APRC. Yeah. I was against the leadership. System, the leadership. The system, the system of the, dictatorship. Okay. That is training jungulas yeah. to go and adopt people in their houses mm -hmm. at night, mm -hmm. arresting people, adopting people mm -hmm. on illegal, mm -hmm. without bringing them before the courts. Okay. This, this was the system that I was fighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought Gambia deserves something better than that. Mm -hmm. We deserve, we should be a civilized nation. Mm -hmm. We should be among the civilized co mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. That was how, I, that was what I was fighting. Mm -hmm. But I never fought mm -hmm. people who support APRC like Fabakari, an ordinary man. Mm -hmm. Who, who has no knife, he has never stabbed anybody, who has never beaten anybody. He's a citizen, he's paying taxes, like how President Adam Barrow is paying taxes. Those supporting APRT are paying taxes, how Se Umaro is paying taxes. Why should, I deny, why should they be denied from participating the or aligning, associating? The trouble, with, the trouble now is the APRC are demanding that you embrace or give a soft landing to that system that you fought against it. That's their one of their conditions. So if you talk to them on that basis, you are inviting back what you have fought against. Isn't they, it? Can, they are not in control. They, they were in control of the system. But they said they the, the leader. They Their said, leader is no longer participating but, in our democracy. But they said they wanted him back before December. But didn't you hear things are changing? Didn't oh. you hear their latest interview? Oh, they, yes, they I, are I, saying I, that they are going to support. If you support President Adam Abbas, if you are in APRC and you said you will support President Adam Abbas presidency 2021, don't you think that? Hmm. The, pa the person has abandoned, I mean, his support they, for, the, uh, for, for his former boss are, candidate. But well, they said they are doing so because they want him to bring Jamme back. Jamme back, but when? Yes, a child. All right. So no, no, wait, wait, wait. They Jamme, said, we they are said not saying for Jamme to come back. They said December. I, I, must, I must say that not long ago. I have not seen any government. statement. Let yes. me tell you. Yeah, they, they Me, I believe in something that is in black and white and some and everything. No agreement I, has been reached so far. I have not seen anywhere where APRC said, and, is and, this uh, or that? Okay, I had... All I am here is through the media reports. Social media also. So from the social media and from the reports okay. and what they are saying. So far, okay. I cannot tell you that okay. I have laid my hands on the demand of the AP, as I have not seen that. Okay. And, and it's important to know that the government last week came out with a statement, you know, rebuffing any reports 
particularly that uh, Atlantic newspaper in Guinea said President Barrow went there to talk with, uh, 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 I mean, Alpha Conde, um, and, and, and then the product was so-called Malabo Agreement, which suggested that Jamme will come back to that, pay, that, pay condolences to his... That the government was quick in dispelling that. So that that, that, that I, never existed. We cannot stop people from rumoring. Yeah. We cannot stop Gambians from speculating. It happened all over. It is but what there. we are guiding is we want to make sure that whatever we are doing mm -hmm. is done in, on, 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 on the basis of principles mm -hmm. and on the basis of agreement, mm -hmm. tangible agreement mm -hmm. that people, Gambian people can see and trust. Mm -hmm. But just somebody to get up and say anything, we cannot stop that. Somebody can go to Serekunda today, Serekunda market. And tell you that Adam Abaro went and ate Nyankatang in, in, in Kalilai. Can you stop them? No. Well, that's their freedom. That's why we fought. That's why we were fighting. We want people to talk. But they whether what they are talking APR, makes sense or APRC not. APRC officials, well, at least one of them, confirmed that uh, either the government or President Barrow has given them seven vehicles back. Um, you know, you are aware of that? Was that part of the NPP People, agreement? I saw that on the social media. I, have, I was not no, part of it. I have not seen that written anywhere, black and white, yet. Well, Duru Jari, deputy spokesman, said it happened. That's what I said. I said a lot of things. I have been hearing updates, statements on the social media. Mm -hmm. But for it to come tangible, mm -hmm. to become evidently written mm -hmm. and written, I have not seen it. If you see it, see it, forward it to me. Yeah. I have not seen that. Now, how is the NPP doing now um, in terms of, uh, I mean, well, campaign, we, you don't, you don't, you don't, but you were with the president uh, when he was laying foundations. Imams and Al-Kalolu were invited at the state house. Your critics said you were involved in people who shouldn't have been in politics. Well, let me, um, let me tell you, I was, uh, although um, I, I was not there, but it's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. We Why? don't, we Why? don't. Al-Kalolu is supposed not to be in politics. We don't, this, they were not in politics. This, this uh, chiefs, mm -hmm. um, sorry, the imams, mm -hmm. We are not. We are, we are not. They were not politicians. They, they, politicians. But, but they are not. That was not a political uh, rally. <laughs> avenue. But the president told him to at support. The house. He told him to support him. Yeah, that's what, support and go and campaign is different. He said you start. have influence. Support he, me. He told El Carlo, hey, Imam, you have influence, so you, I want you to support. He's basically asking them to support him politically. Don't, don't, Mister, don't lawyer Dabo, don't, Mister uh, Jang have the right to tell Imam. Can a command support me? Is but, that illegal? But he shouldn't do that at state Whether house. they will do it or no, not, it is left to them. But he did that at state house. Come and support me. But he did at state house. They, because they came, that's his residence. Not, <laughs> they no, came no. and found him that there. That is not his political rally. Right. Okay. That's not yes. a political rally. Right. Okay. We will let us not, that's different. Let us, Mr. Let us different Mr. said, somebody meeting you in your, in your, uh, in your place, mm -hmm. you understand, in your residence, to mm -hmm. come and say, as the leader of this country, we, mm -hmm. the imam, are here to pay a courtesy call to you, yeah, to yeah, say that, the people we are happy with the way you are called upon. The they call. But you talk politics with them. Who called them? They were called. The imams in organization. We'll talk about them. Right, Come right. on. Right. Tell right. me who called them. Nobody we'll, called we'll them. Talk about it. Uh, this, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, he yeah, said yeah, they were called. Yeah, one minute. He cannot tell us. One minute, Nyang. Let me go over to Nyang cannot tell us. No, no, allow me. No, Mr. Champ, allow me. He said they were called. All right, let's Who called them? Allow me. Let's listen to The imams don't have an organization that's district wide. Talk more. I'm not talking about Supreme Islamic Council. I'm talking about. Of course. Of course. I'm talking about Zawiyas. No, 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 no. no, let's, let's talk about There it. was a coordinated and concerted effort run by a machinery to get those imams no, there. No. But I want to come no. first. A How, Greek philosopher. Let him, let him a Greek philosopher said politics is the second oldest profession apart from prostitution. And in Gambia, there is what you call convenient apologist. What is a convenient apologist? We all knew and still know what APRC rep represent. It is, it was, and it's still an instrument of repression. What is an instrument of repression? Gambia was changed to an Islamic Republic because people at the parliament voted. And who were those people? APRC members of parliament, number one. Most of our laws were changed, and that's why our constitution has been butchered several times to suit the needs of one or two people to perpetuate their power. We know that Gambians went missing, and APRC is complaining about the TRRC process. We knew that people were killed, people had enforced disappearances, yet still backed by a political machinery called APRC. So, yes, the president and his team, and they have the right mm -hmm. to go ahead and mix with them, but there is what you call morality and conscience. Mm -hmm. And it's very unconscionable. The very people who subjugated and, and abrogated the rights of the Gambian mm. to be strange bedfellows with the people we fought and put in that office today. 
I detest that in the strongest terms, okay. number one. Number two, I want to do a fact check about what you said with regards to marijuana. The federal government of the United States has decriminalized marijuana, number one. Number two, some of the people who have been sentenced for possession, they have wiped it off their records. But some that, that states, allow but some me. states, no, no, federal. Some states, I'm no. talking about federal what, government. What, 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 allow me. Okay. Allow okay. me. Now, the United in States in, Congress. In, in, in <laughs> Island. Till now, they are allow giving me. a Gambia. No, some some states, states, some states. Allow me. Those people. There's a difference between possession and trafficking. You need to understand the law so that you will understand. I am saying the federal government of the United States, by way of the United States Congress, have passed a law to decriminalize marijuana and also take off the records of people for a time period that were sentenced or they just have on their record possession of marijuana because of their employability. It affects them. So they have done that. Let me finish. Allow me. I gave you How long have they been telling people? It's a process. That's why I think this is a process. What he's bringing, he's going to bring a case. Okay, Allow right. me Go to ahead. finish. Go ahead, finish. So that's one. Secondly, you said that you, your party, your government is doing everything to stop tribalism. It is rather unfortunate that you watch GRTS. The president has received the Manjago community. The president has received the Mauritanian community. You cannot fight tribalism by further dividing a group of people that should be called Gambians and Gambians alone. No further nomenclature or anecdote. Purely Gambians. The president should stop meeting groups by tribal orientation. Meet plumbers, meet tilers, meet electricians, meet doctors, meet nurses, meet accountants, not a tribe. Then you can tell me you're fighting tribalism. You are propagating tribalism. And it is a shame that what we suffered, the social fabric of this country, has disintegrated because of tribal lines. We expected that this government should come and transform what we suffered through, but no. It is a politic of divide and rule that kept them in power, and yet still it's been perpetuated today, unfortunately. Of course, pertinent issue is the Gambian demography has changed, mm -hmm. and unfortunately the Gambian politicians are not acquiescent with what the Gambian demography needs. Mm -hmm. Marijuana mm -hmm. is the green gold, and if Gambia mm -hmm. is smart as a nation, mm -hmm. we will diversify our agricultural cash crop for exports. Mm -hmm. Make it still a controlled substance mm -hmm. but for export purposes and it will turn our farmers from being poor farmers to farmers who can pay even university fees for their kids outside the Gambia. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, the government of the Gambia is yet to understand that marijuana is not something that's criminal, but unfortunately, big tobacco in the days mm -hmm. have used their lobby to make marijuana illegal. And now big tobacco, once again, mm -hmm. is giving out money to lawmakers in the West to decriminalize marijuana. So pretty soon, you will see marijuana sticks packaged in the Piccadilly, Prince, and Benson. And unfortunately, Gambia will just follow. Mm -hmm. Countries like Botswana, Uganda, Kenya, they're now beginning to export serious um, amounts of hemp and cannabis. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they call it a bushel. A bushel of corn in Kenya, you know, they fetch nothing more than maybe a thousand, mm -hmm. a ton of corn, sorry, a thousand five hundred pounds. Also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, one kilo mm -hmm. of marijuana, medical grade marijuana, fetches you seven to ten thousand pounds. What is the logic? We are criminalizing people. And lastly, mm -hmm. our criminal justice system, if you look at it, and you look at all the convictions in a year, 40% of them are drug-related, and that 40%, 95% of them or more will be cannabis. Mm -hmm. So what it takes the state to feed these people that they have already criminalized doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So the state needs to really look at its criminal laws, especially on marijuana, and also look in the correctional facility and also our correctional method, whether what we are doing is working. Mm -hmm. The reason drug abuse is so prevalent in Gambia is the lack of hope, lack of employment, and also lack of adequate preparation for the kids who are in schools to prepare them for what is after school. Because our school system doesn't teach life skills. Mm -hmm. And without life skills, no human being is ready for independence, financial or otherwise.
Well, I know there are moral and other arguments against, uh, you know, comes to uh, mind. Um, you had the mayor um, say, say sending the CEO on leave and the finance director, among others, for allegedly and illegally um, <coughs> negotiating a loan of 12 million. The CEO fired back to say that uh, the deputy mayor was also uh, allegedly uh, found or talking, discussing corruption, and uh, the CEO said that he shouldn't go um, alone. She wanted to resume duties. She was blocked, but apparently the Ministry of Local Government, uh, through the Local Service Commission, Local Government Service Commission, is backing her and even instructed her to go back to work. <laughs> of course, later it was said that they are going to investigate it. So, Mr. Barlow, let me let me begin by asking you: Was the mayor uh, right in sending? Uh, the CEO and others on leave for this alleged corruption and is the minister also right by trying to rescind the mayor's issue? Well, um, I think this is a drama going on oh. uh, within the Kali within the Califin Municipal Council mm -hmm. and uh, the, the government, any responsible government mm -hmm. should take up the responsibility. Mm -hmm. We should not leave any municipality mm -hmm. To be independent and do what because when they are alleging there is a corruption is going to is going to tarnish the image of the central government mm -hmm. this is what is doing here mm -hmm. this is what is going on here okay the carnival municipal as council there is an allegation open allegation counter allegation mm -hmm. among themselves mm -hmm. we heard of the accountant we heard of the ceo we heard of the mayor mm -hmm. one accusing the order the order countering mm -hmm. that is what is happening there now the decision that the minister of has taken, mm -hmm. minister of local government, mm -hmm. that's the right decision. Mm -hmm. The local government ministry is in charge of the municipalities, mm -hmm. and also there is an, an, an local government act mm -hmm. that states that mm -hmm. the, the ministry, mm -hmm. the ministry is is, is, is over, they oversee the municipalities and the councils. Mm -hmm. So therefore, now this thing is happening. Mm -hmm. The corruption upon we receive so many audios. Mm -hmm right now mm -hmm. so many audios counter this thing what happened it's going to come out mm -hmm. what we are advising now mm -hmm. for an independent M M M M commission mm -hmm. into this co into the kmc me personal that's my opinion mm -hmm. if i were to ad I, if i were the advisor for the <coughs> minister of local government mm -hmm. i would advise him immediately to institute an independent M commission of inquiry to investigate rather than leaving this one accusing this one the other one countering accusing the other one Siphon, so everyone, siphon, everyone, this should, one million, everyone, this should one. Be, everyone should be left to, to, to continue their work on the university. What, because mm -hmm. now the danger is if you let, let somebody go out, mm -hmm. how are you going to get the information now? The other people might even, the possibility of other people planting something behind the order is, 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 is there. Mm -hmm. Now, if he allowed the accountant or the CEO to go, mm -hmm. why? I'm not saying that would happen, but the other people who are in the council, don't you think they can be able to manipulate some documents and also give it to people while the orders are away? Mm -hmm. That's what we are trying to avoid. We want everybody to, to be given the right to defend yourself. You are here, I am here. Mm -hmm. If I am accused of corruption and you produce documents, we have the file. You cannot extract any document from the file mm -hmm. while, because I'm present. But now if you send the other one away, mm -hmm. the possibility of hiding some documents even is possible. You this see? is the way I see it. Yeah. You see? Very quickly. Yeah. Now, we want to stop this corruption happening in that council. Now, there are three things Mr. Mbalo needs to understand. Mm -hmm. What we are suffering today is the lack of a constitution. Because the mayor is an elected officer, respond, you know, he is held accountable by the people who voted for him. Mm -hmm. The minister is an appointed mm -hmm. individual. Therefore, devolution of power, that's what decentralization is all about. The mayor is accountable to the people who voted for him, yeah. not the minister. But unfortunately, we inherited a bad constitution and we were hoping your government, your president would have championed so that today if we had a good constitution, the constitution would have addressed this anomaly, number one. Number two, the reason why the minister of local <coughs> government should not be the one spearheading this issue. If today the lady is found to be wanting and she wants to petition, she cannot petition the Minister of Local Government because it's the Minister of Local Government who instituted the investigation. Mm. So therefore, the investigation is backed by the Minister who should have been an arbiter if the lady filed a petition. Mm. The best thing that should have been done mm. is to allow 
audit office, mm. external audit office, and mm. the police mm. to handle this matter, come up with a report. Mm. Then if the lady petitions mm. the minister of local government, he is a neutral party. But no, unfortunately, no, you need no, to understand no, public no, administration no. to understand that there should the be electoral, equity. The, the local government act, the, 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 but the local, local government act, act, yeah, is but already faulty. Is, what he is trying to say is that if the, if the local government is responsible, they are the arbiter. I know he. That's why okay, he now, said that now, because of now the audit of, department. I mean, the audit department, uh, which is supposed to be independent, the police, which is also supposed to be independent, can go into the matter and come out with a report that will serve both the minister and whoever is. Just, you know, uh, accused. Or, or, or accused, you know, to determine what the next forward. But if now the minister is sanctioning investigations, yes. if somebody is not satisfied with that, where, where do you go? Back to the minister? That's what I'm saying, that he's sanctioning, let them stay, let them let them stay like they are. The minister is taking, so the, the ministry, the it's not only, for, the forget police, about the minister. The, the minister already, has a team of the experts. The police already, Every ministry the, has a team of it's experts. The office. But the police is already a competent authority. So yeah, the matter is with the that, police. What I'm telling you is the police, Mm -hmm. We can do this concurrently, mm -hmm. this investigation. Mm -hmm. Already, the moment the signal was out there mm -hmm. that a corruption had somebody has run, somebody has siphoned mm -hmm. two million, three million, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. and it was police were alerted, they started investigation. Mm -hmm. The other party also accused mm -hmm. the the, um, the accuser mm -hmm. that you also took mm -hmm. this amount. Mm -hmm. Now you cannot act now the police. The, can the police now do this thing left, right, and centre? It is the responsibility of the minister Let me quickly conclude. to jump in and establish a commission whereby they will look at both where the fact is. Let That's me, what we are doing. Let me conclude the last point mm -hmm. here. If you were a seasoned public administrator, you should understand that there is what you call the general orders. And in the general orders, there is what you call interdiction. Interdiction gives you half salary. You go and stay home whilst the government look into the matter and come to a conclusion, logical conclusion, which gives you equity and protect the greater goods interest. Okay. You see, the problem this government has, we have a lot of people who don't understand public administration because they have never taken the chance to even read the general orders or FI and yet still want to partake in the process of administering the country. Let me tell you, um, all those people, from okay. secretaries, mm -hmm. what he is saying here, <coughs> is, Mr. Mr. Jai, let me tell you, that all those permanent secretary money. But have you read the general money, orders? Money, of you course, are, I have it. I have no, it. no, I'm not having it. Do you what? understand the general orders? Of course. What does okay. it say about interdiction? Uh, inter uh, inter interdiction. Uh, 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 nah. Like suspending somebody. No, no, it's, it's not suspension. No, let me tell you. <coughs> let me tell you. You can just, when there is a problem, a civil servant like violating, talking to the social media, you will suspend something of that. No, 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 it's not suspension. Of course, now, you can suspend the Let's talk to, let's talk to Mr. General Mr. General 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 how would I you see be? the problem with young, young guy? He thinks he knows more I than all the government experts. And he knows nothing. I never said that. He knows nothing. What can you do? Mr. Jack. No, we no, have experts. Don't be annoyed. I never said that. We have experts from managing directors. Expert managing directors, from expert managing directors exactly. who are very au fait mm -hmm. with the constitution, who are au fait with the general order. More than young guy. I never said that. First of all. How would you have dealt with First of all, let me just say one thing. I'm not surprised. That what happened to KMC. Mm. You see, local government administration is plagued with corruption and nepotism. Mm. During Jamie's time, we found a lot of ghost employees at Birkama. Yeah. You know anyone living government employee now. You may be in the books for you. Don't call it your salary because you don't know. But someone is siphoning that money, you're seeing me stay on the books for maybe a year, mm. maybe. A year, maybe. Mm. Ministry of Health tried to get this COVID money. <coughs> they were ghost nips. See, Gambian people, we we have to be we are dishonest. Yes. I, mean, I can go on and on. That's why I say we need a cultural revolution <coughs> in this country. Listen, to make it simple, you go to the market, the old lady at the market knocks the bottom of the pot to give you a false reading. How could that be? Ramadan of all months when prices should go down. Why, why, why are we so greedy and we say Muslims, then something you bought two, three months, even six months ago, why do you jack up the price? You see, ja Jawara's time, Jawara even was... was <laughs> As to, I told a guy yesterday, I said, do you know Jawara when he was, before he left London, he was being evicted because his house was on mortgage after 30 years of presidency? How many African presidents? No. Well, you see? Anyway, that, that's another story. But let me tell you one thing. I'm not surprised. There's no, there's no um, system to deal with transparency, no uh, financial probity, mm -hmm. and no accountability. So what do you expect? Mm -hmm. I, I went to a tour. Mm -hmm. I, well, it was just a family on tour. I found a couple of seed stores. You know these seed stores that are, yeah. the roofs we are gone. For two years, three years, an old man told me, I can't understand why Eric can't fix it. And I, so he told me, 
a, a guy who was employed by the, by the area council, okay, mm. just two years, three years, he now has a Pajero, brand new, that he bought. He's building two big mansions, houses in, in his neighborhood. How do you get that money? I say, it's your tax money. <laughs> so I tell you one thing. <coughs> if APP, <coughs> sorry, if mm. APP comes to government, mm. those poor, poor farmers wouldn't pay tax. Mm. I tell you that. After three years, you'll make sure you put in the system, they don't pay tax until their standard of living goes up. Mm. Another thing I'm going to say, because I don't know we don't, we don't have much time, yeah. right? but I would have done what he has said. Mm -hmm. We'd have closed that office, mm -hmm. independent inquiry to be established, mm -hmm. independent, even if you have the government. Mm -hmm. Independent of the government. Right. They do that all over the world. You take all the computer, everything is computerized. Yeah. You, you, you seal the office, yeah. put the security there. It, you know, so when no one enters, no, no, everyone goes home. No, office, and you pay the them. Office or the CSE, or all of them. The, can the, whole, the whole council. Yeah, right. The all whole council. To know, all yes. know where, yes. what really went wrong. But, but so so let, me, let me just add one thing. Mm. I know we're closing up. I want to say this is very important to me. Mm. I challenge, mm -hmm. I've said it 30 times, maybe more. Mm -hmm. I challenge mm -hmm. any person running for the president to say this, what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. That is, when, when you are elected as president, give half of your salary back to the people. You've been paid too much. President Barrow said he would give his salary. But we're yet to see it. He said it? Yes, but we still didn't see the money.